Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do another haul video for all the cool stuff I got. So let's get started. First couple of books I got here are Titan Manga. We have Witch of Thistle Castle Volume 3. We are one book away from finishing this wonderful little series. I have genuinely enjoyed it. I talked about the previous two volumes on this channel, and when I do another reading vlog, I will talk about Volume 3. I guess I'll cover the entirety of the series, but I am looking forward to more of this wonderful little story. Three Exorcism Siblings is something I completely skipped out on when it was first solicited, and when I found out it was coming out, I was really excited. This is an action series about a brother protecting his other siblings from deadly Tengu, monsters, yokai, etc. It runs for approximately seven volumes, if memory serves me right, and it looks amazing. I love the art, and I want me some cool demon hunting bonga, and this is just up my alley, so I'm happy to have this on the collection. From Seven Seas Entertainment, we have The Dangers in My Heart, Volume 8. I love this series. Now, I was a little bit mad because this came out after the second season of the anime ended, and I kind of wanted to read the manga first and then watch the adaptation. So it was kind of ruined, but this is still a wonderful volume. You have the high school trip and the big confessions that happen over there, and the resolution of many plot threads involving the main two characters and the big event that happens that I don't want to spoil but I'm probably hinting at very poorly but that happens and it was such a gratifying moment and brought a genuine smile to my face. Now this is a manga that I have not kept up on, so I am a terrible fan. Sword of the Demon Hunter Volume 4. I am a little bit disappointed that they dropped the textured feel to the book, probably because of cost reasons. The anime is about to drop soon, so I suspect that the series will gain a pretty sizable boost in popularity, so definitely do be on the lookout for Sword of the Demon Hunter. One of my all-time favorite series, Dinosaur Sanctuary. I love slice of life anime and manga, and I also love dinosaurs, so this is a wonderful combination of the two, and I cannot recommend it enough. Scientifically accurate, while also retaining the wholesomeness and spectacle of fictionalized dinosaurs that you see in like the Jurassic Park franchise. That is applied here with a much more realistic tone, and overall just highly satisfying. I do recommend this if you enjoy dinosaurs. Orb on the Movements of the Earth, Volume 2, or in this case, Volumes 3 and 4 collected in this Omnibus edition. I really, really liked Volume 1, and I'm very much looking forward to continuing the story here and seeing what other characters are doing in regards to the whole heliocentrism teachings and all that against the establishment from the church and all that. So looking forward to this awesome read. Finally, here we are with the finale for Marmalade Boy Volume 5, the Collector's Edition, and it's been a fun ride. I can't wait to talk about it. I kind of want to do a little retrospective on Marmalade Boy, but yeah, we finally have uh, Marmalade Boy in these uh, oversized large trim editions, which are fantastic if you ask me. On my recent First Impressions video, I talked about this book, Tales of the Tendo Family Volume 1. If you want to check that video out, I'd appreciate it. Looking forward to the upcoming volumes. And also, this is the first One Piece books that I own. That is really cool too. One Square Enix manga release. I got My Dress Up Darling Volume 11. I've not been keeping up with this series. Also a fake fan. I do apologize. But I love the art and the story was great from what I remember in the anime and of course the first six or seven volumes that I've read. I just need to not be as lazy and get to reading these books. <laughs> A new volume one for the collection. Here we have Bless. This was by Kodansha. I talked about it on my previous video of first impressions round of reviews, and I really enjoyed it. It's not the most epic thing in the world that's going to change the narrative on manga, but the art is phenomenal, and I would put it up against a bunch of other releases that are sort of the hot sellers at the moment. 
Ah, yes, we have come to the part of the hall where I talk about more of Rent a Girlfriend. I don't know what to say at this point. I, I've stated that I don't think this is a very good series, but I did like the anime when it first dropped. And instead of getting the Blu-rays, I kind of wanted to continue the story. So I got the manga and I recognize that it's not the best, but there's something fun, silly and just uh, switch your brain off thing about this series that I keep coming back to it and, and reading more volumes. Past the Monster Meet Milady Volume 3, this is another wonderful romance series mixed with food manga elements and fantasy elements. Really enjoy the wacky combination here. Highly recommend it. I talked about it previously on a reading vlog if you want to hear my thoughts on Volume 1. Another volume one, this one is from Yen Press. I got the Tiger Won't Eat the Dragon yet. This one was a lot of fun. Story is thin, but the art is magnificent. I love the character designs. I love the fluidity of these animals and movement and the just the beauty of nature through the lens of a manga. Really awesome to see. A little not safe for work-ish. This is mostly etchy stuff, honestly. There's nothing like super perverse happening in here. If you disregard the whole fantasy harem element, regardless. Tales of Wedding Rings. I got volume six, seven, nine, and 10. The story is good, surprisingly. If you take all the etchy stuff away from it, it's a fun comedic take on fantasy elements, defeating the demon lord and gathering the, the tools or powers necessary to do it. Of course, they throw uh, wrenches in their plan by uh, either being whisked away to another world or combining elements of like Lord of the Rings, etc. This is not as bad as you would think, but it's not wonderful either. It's just one of those guilty pleasures for the collection. What is good, however, is Dark Gathering. Here is volume four and five. I've slowly been getting this series because I watched the anime and that is way ahead. I think that adapted more than 12 volumes of the story. So I already know what happens in all of this. I've just been slowly revisiting the story through the original source material. The art is fantastic. And I think if you want some cool shonen horror, you can't go wrong with Dark Gathering. We got another new volume one for the collection, Goku Rakugai volume one. Think like dark fantasy elements and supernatural stuff mixed with hitmen and that sort of Yakuza aesthetic to some degree. I am really looking forward to chatting a little bit more about it in an upcoming video that I have planned. But yeah, Goku Rakugai had to have it for the collection. And I guess I should have mentioned that these are Viz Media releases. Steel of the Celestial Shadows Volume 2. Finally, first one came out January of this year and I've had to wait so freaking long. Here we have Volume 2. I'm kind of savoring the moment because I know this is going to be a super quick read, but the art is phenomenal and the plot is surprisingly effective and really fun. And I know that uh, I'm going to be stuck waiting, what, two to three more months for another volume, which sucks, <laughs> but I highly recommend it. I talked about this in another video. If you want to check it out, this uh, unconventional story of a samurai who can't really use his sword because of a curse that bends steel at his hands. Sounds weird, but it makes sense when you read it. Record of Ragnarok Volume 10. I like to save chunks of this series because it's such a quick paced read. It's mostly fights between deities, but they're so much fun. So yeah, it's about time I pick up the rest of the volumes and uh, read them along with Volume 10. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. We got another Volume 1 for the collection, Magi Lumiere, Magical Girls, Inc. Volume 1. Recently talked about it, really enjoyed this. I love this Shonen Magical Girl series and how it subverts the tropings of the Magical Girl genre and makes it more corporate. Of course, mixing it with like kaiju-like monsters and all that. And just overall a fun first volume, really recommend it. Hashtag DRCL or Dracula, whatever you want to say it. Here's volume two of the hardcover from Shinichi Sakamoto. This just looks fantastic. Just a wonderful presentation from Viz. If you are a fan of Sakamoto, if you're a fan of the occult and vampires, and of course you like the original Dracula novel, you can't go wrong picking this adaptation up. 
And now for two vintage, God, why did I say vintage? Two older releases. We got Dead Dead Demons, Dead Dead Dead, Dead Destruction Volume 10. This came out a while ago. And for some reason, I don't know what happened. I'll be honest with you. I kind of forgot to keep going with the series and I don't have volumes 10, 11, and 12. So one day I was randomly making an order and said, you know what? Let's go back and see what I'm missing from my older stuff that I haven't finished collecting. Then I saw Dead Dead Demons. I'm like, oh, okay, let's continue doing that. So uh, I picked up volume 10, 11 and 12 did not get here, but you'll see them eventually. And Vagabond Volume 2, the Viz Big Editions. It's been a while now that I think about it. When I first talked about getting the the first, you know, uh, Viz Big for uh, Vagabond, I think it was two years ago. And slowly but surely, I acquired everything that I could. Some of the volumes tend to go in and out of stock. And when they come back, I have the situation where I don't, uh, I, I don't want to extend the budget to include that or. I don't have the extra cash at the moment. Stuff like that kept happening. And at some point it, it was just forever out of stock. And I did not care to look for them because I knew this was mostly an evergreen series. I knew it was going to come back and eventually it did. And people were quick. I was only able to grab volume two. I'm missing volume four, eight and nine to finally have the damn series and do a proper read through. I've never read Vagabond in its entirety. So yeah. At least now I can read the first three volumes and give you uh, some feedback on it on a future video. I don't know. For the anime side of things, I had to do it. Like everybody else, I got the Berserk 1997 anime on Blu-ray. Thanks to the folks at Discotech Media for finally getting this, remastering it or upscaling it, whatever you want to call it. It's a wonderful presentation for a legendary anime. Uh, go pick it up if you can. If it's out of stock, don't worry. Obviously, this is a hot seller, so they're going to keep it in print. Just uh, be a little patient and you'll be able to grab it. So there it is, folks, a little lengthy manga haul for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.